Good morning, and welcome to this special segment of the LCPA News. This is Mr. Lomeli with you. Mr. Herrera. And Ms. Palacios. And we're here to talk about a very important topic today. Uh, and I want to start off by showing you what I have here in my hands. And this is the LCPA Bible, the Holy Bible, La Santa Biblia. Uh, in this, we created a report. And when I say we, I mean parents students, all teachers and staff collaborated to create this report of almost 300 pages. So almost as long as a Harry Potter book that you read last week. Um, maybe it's not Harry Potter at this point. But, uh, um, and the reason we did this report is because we will be having a WASC visit this year and actually it will begin on Monday uh, of next week. WASC is the Western Association of Schools and Colleges and their purpose is to go around to schools and colleges, high schools and colleges, to uh, see what programs are being implemented, are going on in the school, what types of things you're learning, what types of strategies we use, and to say you are accredited or not accredited. Accreditation is very important because that pretty much makes your high school diploma um, have value and worth and actually allows us to grant high school diplomas to our students. We are currently obviously accredited, but now with this visit, we will be able to go for a six-year accreditation period, which is the longest period possible. We can also be granted a three-year, a one-year, or a probation uh, status, which we really do not want to have. We did a lot of work to, be, to create this, this report, and now we just need your support and your backup to prove to WASC that we are an awesome school the greatest school in Eastside San Jose and beyond. The slows um, are what the what our visitors are going to be uh, looking that you understand uh, what they are. So a slow is the school-wide learner outcomes or slows. These are things that you will be able to demonstrate uh, once you graduate from LCPA. So slow number one is students will be critical thinkers who demonstrate proficiency in math and science. And so Remember that the WASP team will be visiting with all of the students and um, having conversations with you and they might stop and ask you, hey, can you tell me one of your slows? So it's important that you are able to say these um, in your own words. It's okay, you don't have to memorize them exactly, but something to the effect of, of what we have. So for this first one, you wanna be able to remember that students are critical thinkers, right? That we're able to think beyond especially in math and science. Slow number two. The second slow is uh, students will be biliterate in Spanish and English. All of you know this because you're all taking English four years, you're taking Spanish for four years. Um, something that we're really proud of here at LCPA is uh, that we uh, push you guys to uh, earn the seal of biliteracy, which we've done the past few years and we've had uh, students uh, earn that. Not like me, I can, uh, I can uh, speak in English and Spanish, but biliterate means that you, that you can speak, that you can listen, that you can read, and that you can write all four of those things. And uh, um, that's what you need to be able to explain if you're asked about this particular slow. The third slow? Slow number three is that students will be highly proficient using technology. And uh, we can see this demonstrated by all of you now have Chromebooks and and almost every single class, you are using Google Drive, you are using Google Classroom. Definitely all of, all of your teachers have School Loop, and that's the way you guys look up your grades. Um, Turnitin.com, and many of the other programs that you all know how to use in your different classes. Those would be excellent things to say um, to a WASP team member when they ask you, so, you know, how is it that you use technology in the classroom? And slow number four. And the last one is what we're actually here for. What are we here for? We're here so that you will graduate not only from high school, but to continue your education past um, the time that you're here with us. So students will pursue higher education beyond LCPA. And the way we measure that is by how many students complete the A through G requirements, uh, college acceptance rates. Uh, this year we're on track to have a record amount of students uh, um, go to a CSU or a UC or just uh, go to uh, any sort of college after LCPA. So um, graduation rates as well on how, uh, how um, 
what our graduation rate has been in the past and in the future, that's how we measure this particular slope. So these are the four school-wide learner outcomes. Again, students will be critical thinkers that demonstrate proficiency in math and science. Students will be biliterate in Spanish and English. Students will be highly proficient in technology, and students will pursue higher education beyond LCPA. It's important that you are able to speak to these slows and to share your thoughts and your ideas with any visiting member that, that asks you. Again, in your own words, um, and how you, uh, how you see that we are being successful um, in um, implementing, implementing these, these slows. Cool. The only last thing that I wanted to say is the visit will begin on Monday and it will go until Wednesday. You are all welcome to join us on Wednesday in the library at 4 o'clock where the WAS chairperson, La Mera Mera from the team, will be talking about their recommendations for LCPA. They won't tell us if we got a six year or whatever, but they will say some general recommendations. Some of your parents will be here, the staff will be there, and you're all welcome to attend because this is your escuela, your school. So you're a part of this. Um, Sunday, there's another, there's another event that you, are, that you can participate in, and that is at six o'clock. Uh, so if you can be here on Sunday, that would be good. Um, and above and beyond that, I just the only last thing that I would leave you with is just be uh, respectful, be responsible. If you see people, this should be beyond WASC. If you see any adult on campus, you should say Buenas tardes, good evening, buenas, you know, uh, buen, buen dia, uh, good morning. You should be able to communicate that way with adults just to demonstrate that we are a respectful uh, community here at LCPA. I have no doubt that we will get to that six year uh, mark that we want to get to, but please help us out with this and, uh, and, um, and then we will be celebrating together once we get that six year. Thank you guys. We love you. Go Eagles on three. One, two, three. <laughs> Go Eagles!